this is advanced helicopter tutorial I will show you how to fly how to take off how to get into small places and how to land so first I'm gonna go over the controls I have shown it before but I will go over it again so increase thrust and decrease thrust is on my right analog up and down well on a real helicopter there is no thrust actually instead of the thrust it's uh, called collective pitch if I'm correct which is uh, angle of these plates the angle of these plates will change up and down and this is what actually gives you the so-called thrust so the helicopter can ascend and descend we have left turn right turn which is on my left analog left and right bank left and right are on my right analog left and right pedals are on the shoulder buttons these are also analog so I can make really really small adjustments auto hover on auto hover off is on my d-pad well rest is not really important it's just the analog controls that you really need and here we go the first thing is to uh, start up the helicopter so we'll do that now and I am not using the auto hover so as you can see I have parked it inside of the hangar and a lot of people struggle to get it out well that's because you are flying with a keyboard that's the first problem so in order to get it out of the hangar first wait until it's fully uh, functioning the rotors have spin up as you can see that's now you can uh, hear it by the sound and what I'm doing is pressing the right analog slowly up really really slowly and there we go just to get it off the ground with a keyboard you will just end up flying into the roof and now what I do is push the left analog just a little bit forward just slightly and that gives me the smooth movement I need and now I'm pulling it back so the helicopter just hovers out on its own and as you can see I have absolutely no problem taking the helicopter out of this tight space and if it stops uh, moving then just notch it a little bit more just not too much otherwise you end up uh, hitting the rotor against the anchor uh, and I'm not usually using the auto hover it's very rare when I'm using it for example right now I put it on and now I turn it off again and let's check the controls out let's just get in the air that should be enough and what this joystick actually in here does is uh, what acts as my left analog and this one here is so called thrust increase and decrease so we can ascend and descend with the helicopter and what the pedals do is uh, rotate the helicopter left and right and as you can see I can do it very slowly look how the speed goes up as I press the shoulder button down more and more and this is the full rotation speed and we stopped it this is something you can't do with a keyboard this is absolutely not gonna work because keyboard buttons are not analog so this gives the smooth movement we need and I'm gonna take it to a small spin around the airfield and again with a keyboard you can't move so smoothly with a mouse it's possible but it's still very very difficult to learn this with a controller it's so easy and if you're wondering why I'm so close to the ground then I'm just doing it on purpose and just go all the way around the airfield in a nice uh, circular smooth movement and again I'm keeping it uh, close to the ground on purpose I could fly it like basically so close that I could like uh, run over the zombies or people but there's no reason to do that only if you need to and now I'm gonna take it between that uh, post in there and over the hangars and 
to the right, hard right, we stop in here and go in there. And next I'm gonna show you how to circle a certain location. For example that air tower, if you need to provide some support to someone and cover the ground. This is the easiest to do with the uh, pedals. So first you wanna like uh, start going fast really slowly and then start moving like this. And with the pedals you can like uh, adjust the helicopter slightly. The best thing is to go into third person so I actually see where I'm going. But yeah, the best thing is to go like this. And you can just circle around a certain area. And again, I'm very low on purpose. If you think that was close, that was not close. It just turns the view automatically. This is what I don't like absolutely, but... Well, this is how you can circle around the building. This is not auto hover again. This was just me. And I will also show you a U-turn, which is quite important actually. I'm gonna go a little bit up. Sometimes a helicopter acts a little bit funny, but... Um, I'm gonna show you an instant U-turn which is very good to like uh, shake off the other helicopters if they are chasing you or a plane. First I'll go here, stop, collect up some speed and I will fly the other way and then I will show you how to do the instant stop. First we turn the nose on the other way and here we go. Well, I should be a little bit higher, but that's fine. And to better show you how it works, I'll put it in a third person. What we do is we bank the helicopter, I mean turn helicopter hard, sideways, and then we just pull nose up, which I'm gonna demonstrate. We turn like this, and then pull up like that, and we have an instant U-turn, as you can see. And here's some more low flying. Just gotta be careful if you turn that you don't put the rotors into the ground. You can also stop quite instantly if you like pull the nose up. But you might end up uh, falling down and stalling the helicopter so... But this doesn't turn you around instantly, so if you wanna like stop instantly then just pull the nose up but not too much because you will stall and then you will end up hitting the ground. And I'm gonna make my way to some city to make some uh, precise flying between objects. I think I'm gonna go into Cherno or Electro, so this is where I'm heading. Actually, I decided to show the flying into the Cherno. It's also advised to do low flying in day Z, so people can't get a good shot at you. If you're flying very low, it's very hard to shoot at you. If you're flying high up, you're like uh, quite an easy target in there, but if you fly low like this, then it's uh, a lot better to be honest. You just have to have a feel for the helicopter rotors, how wide it actually is. Once you know that, you can just uh, pass the obstacles and trees really, really easily. And as you can see, look at the speed, how fast I'm going with this thing. I have pushed this up to like 240 actually. 
but it only goes sideways like this if you turn. Feel like flying a straight forward, then it doesn't really. And of course you can push it more if you go like downwards, but I mean like can like right now I went downhill and so it's 230 but I mean like without losing any altitude I have pushed it to like 240 a lot of people actually have issues to getting it up to even 200 with a keyboard and there's our generous and right now it's about 230 without losing altitude as you can see And what I'm going to do is just uh, turn around and make a nice pass through the journal, a low flight. Just turn around somewhere in here, using the U-turn method, like so. And this was not complete U-turn because I wanted to maintain the speed. First thing I'm going to fly under that uh, big thing in there, whatever these silos are in there. That's very easy actually, I can easily fly through that. This is too easy. And here we go. And there's not much places where you can go in here, as you can see. Well, maybe on some streets in there. have to find a good place where to fly uh, this is not DayZ this is actually a map editor so uh, I have free ground in here and I don't have to look for the helicopter in here so it's a lot easier to make the tutorial I'm not sure if that helicopter actually fits through that in there but if it does I can take it through there I don't think it will fit through but let's see I'm gonna first go closer No, the rotors will not fit through you can clearly see that the rotors won't go through yeah too bad So what else could we do? Maybe land on the roof? No, that's too easy. But yeah, I will actually land on the roof. I'll just make a little circle around the tox area. Maybe shave some trees. Actually can't do it in here because you will just end up exploding the helicopter if you touch any trees with the rotors. And we're gonna put it on that roof in there I think that's the right roof in there that high building yeah it should be the correct roof I'm not sure if that actually gets stuck into the rotor, so I'm not going to risk it, I'm going to go in the middle. And we're going to put it right in the middle in here. And as you can see, a perfect landing. And we're gonna take off again. And I'm gonna put it back into the airfield. And I will show you how to put this thing into the hangar now. Oops, the outer hover was on. And we're gonna go really, really high up this time. And we're gonna make some tricks. First, I'm gonna have to set the marker, so bear with me. Alright, I've set the marker in place. 
and we're gonna hit it. This time I'm going a little bit higher. Get some speed. Actually I wanna fly that through that valley in here. I don't know why, but it just looks interesting. Right between all these trees. Alright, where was I? I wanted to go higher up. So we're gonna do some tricks with the helicopter. That's right, tricks with helicopter. And the first thing is the parallel roll. I think everyone knows that. Well, that's quite easy, but you still have to stabilize the helicopter, because if you don't, you're gonna just end up crashing. What we do is just um, fly forward, and then we're gonna turn hard, left or right. And as a result, we have a nice barrel roll. And we can also do a backflip. The minimum safe uh, height is about 300 meters, but I'm gonna do it at 500 or a little bit more. And it's also good to pick up some speed. I'm gonna take it up to 500. But 300 is enough, actually. You should be able to do it. And once we are at 500, we pick up some speed. The faster you go, the better it is. And then we're gonna pull the nose down to get some higher speed. And then we're gonna just pull back real hard. Up and over. As you can see, I only lost about... Uh, 200 meters, so as I said, 300 is pretty much enough. And now what we're gonna do is put that helicopter back into the one of one of these hangars in there. I'm gonna pick the same one where I started from. And with auto hover you are actually keep going upwards, so that's why I'm not using the auto hover. I can descend and slow down at the same time. And I'm gonna do a nice uh, textbook parking. I'm gonna... Re whoa, whoa, whoa. That was not supposed to happen. And the reason why it just happened is because uh, I was trying to use the mouse to loop but it was stuck on the movement, so... That was not my fault, it was just a small button error. And so I'm gonna use the mouse to look where I'm going. Uh, first you wanna put the helicopter really uh, low to the ground. Don't worry if you touch the ground, that's fine. Just want to um, stabilize it first. <coughs> and then just reverse it back in. Like we came out from there. Don't worry if it takes a bit longer, it's better to do it properly. The same thing, we just let it slide into the hangar. Alright, we have to go a little bit left. bit too fast. First you want to stabilize the helicopter completely and then go backwards. Don't start like going sideways or anything because that's just gonna ruin your nice landing. Or well parking, that's not really landing, that's parking. And here we go. 
still goes sideways, but well, we are in the hangar and we are stopping the helicopter, and there we are. And right in the middle, as you can see. And this is how to fly a helicopter. As you can see I took no damage, didn't hit anything, and a perfect textbook parking, park landing, or however you want to call it.